Hello everybody, welcome to the new the video about forces, natural science in unit 5. First we are going to distinguish between force and motion. Force and motion happen all around us all the time. Force means using energy to do work like pushing and pulling. They are kinds of work. As you can see in the pictures, the girl is pushing the trolley, the boy, the, um, the boy is pushing the car and the girl is helping him pulling it. Motion is the change in position of an object because of a force. So if you hit a ball, a, a ball with a bat, um, that's the force you are doing. And kicking a ball, you also do, do a motion. You move your foot to kick the ball. A force is a push or pull in an object. It can change the shape, the speed or direction. Forces can affect all materials in different ways. There are two types. Non-contact forces affect materials from a distance and contact forces occur when there is contact between materials or substances. Non-contact forces are gravity, which is the force that pulls objects towards the Earth, or the same, it attracts all objects towards each other, and magnetism. Magnets attract metals or metallic, um, metallic objects. So, so here is a list of magnetic metals like iron, nickel, steel, paper clips, staples, legs of desk, and non-magnetic, which are aluminium, copper, lead, the keys, coins, or plastic. Contact forces are friction, which is a force that is created when two surfaces try, try to or move across each other, or which is the same when two objects wrap. It occurs friction. And pulling the sled without snow, you are uh, making friction with the sled. Or buoyancy, is the ability of objects to float. So if it floats, if it goes up in a liquid, um, it's, buoy it's buoyant, and if it sinks, it's not buoyant. Isaac Newton is, he was an important scientist who is known as the greatest figure in the history of science because he discovered lots of things. Um, he's important because he discovered the universal theory of gravity. And gravity, if you remember, it's a non-contact force. Um, he, inv he invented as well the reflecting telescope and the invention of calculus the discovery of the spectrum of colors, and the first theories of the speed of sound and the origins of stars. He is also known because they used his name to, uh, for the measurement of weight. So they, they say this is a, a Newton, and it's an N between brackets. So I hope this helped you. See you. Later.